there is something in the air. It's the smell of Christmas. I love this time of year. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll take this one. You know, Christmas just seems to bring out the best in everybody. Well, almost everybody. This year, there's someone who's not in such a festive mood. She used to love the holidays, but now, all she sees are cheap decorations and people trying to make a quick buck. Hmm. To top it off, it hasn't even snowed yet. Oh, some Christmas. But some people have Christmas spirit to spare. I'll bet you'll never guess who it could be. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Surprised? Turkey? Check. Candied yams? Check. Cranberries, chestnuts, eggnog? Check, check, and check. Let the food preparation begin. I can't believe it's finally happening. I'm getting to prepare the Archer family Christmas feast. My little uh. boy is growing up. Uh. Uh. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry, Abby. Those chestnuts are a hard nut to crack. Wait a minute, you're cooking Christmas dinner? hi -ya! Great. Another reason to lock myself in my room until New Year's. Looks like someone's got the holiday blahs. You should do something Christmassy to cheer yourself up, honey. I know. You can go buy a cake mold for the Christmas pudding at the mall. Now that's Christmassy. Just what I need, a teeming mass of last-minute shoppers. Oh, oh, I'll go with you. Oh, I want to tell Santa what I want for Christmas. Oh. I know he's here. I know he's here. I know he's here somewhere. Come on, Santa, where are ya? Please, we're getting the cake mold, then we're out of here. I've got my list ready and everything. A frog dissecting kit, a gallon of hagfish slime. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Santa! Ho, ho, ho. What do you Is that the director and his son? He wants a Markor Mentimor action figure. Just say yes and nobody gets hurt. Why, well, sure, little boy. Ho, ho, ho. I'll bring you your Merko <laughs> Mentimor. Markor Mentimor. You'd better get it right, or I'm in big trouble. I can't believe it. The director's here, too. I mean, who's on gross watch? Ty? <laughs> oh, joy. Santa, it's really you. Well, of course it's really me. So, what do you want for Christmas, little boy? <laughs> a bag of bat guano, a centipede treadmill, a mucus maximizer... Wait a minute. Uh, first edition of... All Slime right, Wars Santa. Amazon. Off with the beard. Huh? <gasps> or are you afraid to reveal your true identity? Why, I'm Santa Claus, little girl. Ho, ho, ho. Right. Last time I checked, Santa bathed more than once a year. Now off with it! Whoa! Hey! Ooh. Abby, what are you doing? My job? Maybe you should forget about Christmas and do yours too! Yeah! <laughs> Plan on spiking the eggnog with snot? Leaving cow pies under the tree? I don't have any angle. I just love Christmas. See, kiddies? 
Santa's okay! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, maybe he does just love Christmas, Abby. Well, it's true. And to prove it, here's a present from me to you. Uh, a gift? For me? After I just attacked you? Why, sure. I got Christmas spirit, little lady. What kind of Santa would I be if I held a grudge? Um, thanks? And remember, don't open it till Christmas. <laughs> Amazing. It's so dense, even x-rays can't penetrate it. What could it be? Lead? Plutonium? Guess we'll have to unwrap it and see. But, but, but Santa said don't open it till Christmas. So Sloppy Joe gave everybody in town a fruitcake. <laughs> Not exactly the best thing to bring back Abby's holiday spirit. Come on, Abby. The only thing Sloppy Joe is guilty of is bad taste and Christmas gifts. He's up to something with all these fruitcakes. I know it. And what about him playing Santa? <laughs> Talk about ruining Christmas. The only one ruining Christmas is you, with your bad attitude. This is my first Archer family Christmas feast. Can't you see the pressure I'm under? Fine. I'll investigate Joe D Santa myself. Yum. Nice job, son. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Subject giving suspicious items to children. Subject acting in suspicious. Oh, who am I kidding? Subject is too good to be true. <sighs> Following subject to his secret lair. Right, Joe. What's up with all the fruitcakes? Nothing's up. I just love to give it Christmas time. I'm so glad it's Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. Giving to everybody makes me want to say hooray! All through the year, I'm stinky, greasy, grimy, gritty, and gross. But it is really Christmas I look forward to the most. When I was just a little boy, my folks were so poor that we'd have to eat the dirt swept up from the floor. But every year at Christmas, Santa give us lots of toys. Now when I give to others, I feel glad and overjoyed. <laughs> and that's why I love Christmas. Wow, I guess you really do. I just love spreading Christmas cheer, don't you, little elf? <laughs> it's what I live for. <laughs> What's going on? What do you mean? Everything's fine. <sighs> um, we're just a little busy right now, pumpkin. <coughs> <gasps> My chiplet gravy! It's a disaster! What is it, Director? <laughs> it's Christmas Eve! And I still haven't bought Clarence a Mark or Mentimore action figure! <laughs> uh, what are you eating, Director? Fruitcake! It's horrible! I, I know Santa said don't open it until Christmas, but when I'm nervous... <laughs> Sloppy 
Lady Joe's fruitcakes are horrible. But by chance or by design. Christmas spirit, ugh. I can't believe I fell for a song. Ty, we've got an emergency situation. You're telling me. Ugh. Uh -huh. Lab rat, are you getting this? Whoa, the bacteria reading is off the charts. I knew it. Sloppy Joe's up to his old tricks again. But it's a strain I've never seen before. Looks bioengineered. It's super potent. Bioengineered? But Joe's not capable of that. Indeed. <gasps> Lance Boyle. Hm. Nice getup. Laugh now, grossologist. But by tomorrow, you and the whole town will be sobbing. Sobbing because of your rotten fruitcakes, right, Chef Boyle? Rotten fruitcakes? How pedestrian. My uber bacteria will do much more than just turn a few stomachs. Like what? Why don't you stick around and find out? <laughs> uh, Joe's candy fruit. Uh, can't move. I'm sorry, dear grossologist, but your efforts to escape are fruitless. <laughs> Huh? Hey, get out of there! You're gonna ruin all my fruitcakes! Bad news, Joe. They're already ruined, thanks to your trusty elf. Well, that wasn't very Christmassy. Good. I hate Christmas. Lance Boyle! But, but we were making people happy. Bah! What about my happiness? Doesn't anybody ever think about that? Everywhere it's Merry Christmas this and Happy Holidays that. But Christmas has never been merry for Lance Boyle. Oh, get ready for his whole sinister plan. I know, I know. This evil genius business can get predictable. So this time I decided to liven things up a bit. With a song! Oh, when I was a kid, a tiny little tyke, I didn't yearn for gifts of toys. I didn't want a bike. I didn't sit on Santa's lap. In fact, I wanted less than most. What I really wanted was for Christmas to be gross. I wanted a slithery, slinky snake digesting a slimy frog. I wanted a pile of fresh-made poop straight from the butt of a dog. I wanted ooze and rotten stink. I wanted something awful. But what I got instead changed me from Dewey Boy to Man Unlawful. Mummy gave me sweaters and bonnets with a fringe. She gave me cars and video games. These things all made me cringe. She lavished me with balls and bats and smiled as if delighted. But all I really wanted was to see the gifts get blighted. My mummy didn't understand. My mummy couldn't see the shiny things, that happy things were not the things for me. That's when things changed, when Christmas died. Good cheer came to an end. I told myself right there and then that I would have This year I baked some sticky cakes, each one as dense as lead, and filled them up with steaming pus from my bulging, oozing head. And now on Christmas morning, amidst the festive mood, my pus will burst from all the cakes and ruin all their food. For oh, there's nothing quite like sharing deepest, darkest misery, making happy, smiling people just as miserable as me. That's why everybody's Christmas, I'll make everybody's Christmas this year, everybody's Christmas will be glorious! <laughs> so you see, my fruitcakes aren't just rotten. They're bursting with bioengineered bacteria that will consume everybody's Christmas feast. Christmas will be ruined. <laughs> <laughs> so, Abby, why don't you join me in my evil plan? You're a Christmas hater just like me. Maybe I hate Christmas. Or at least, I used to. But I'd never do something like this! Oh. Joe, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Mm, curses! Fine! You're stuck in a candied fruit soup like a soggy saltine! 
And here comes another helping. <gasps> A very gloomy Christmas to one and all. <laughs> I can't believe it's done. It's beautiful. I'm so proud of you, son. Finally, I'm a man. Huh? <laughs> My dinner! Oh, what's happening? <gasps> Why do I get the feeling I'm going to get blamed for this? Bye-bye, Christmas. Hello, Postmas! <laughs> My first Archer family Christmas feast ruined. You're not the only victim. The goo from that fruitcake just ate up my triple cheeseburger and jumbo fries. It even got Hermes festive cheese balls. That does it. Sloppy Joe'd better start circling his reindeer cause I'm coming to get him. Not so fast, Ty. Joe's not responsible. Huh? This fruitcake goo came straight out of the swollen, pussy head of Lance Boyle. Boyle? Oh, I should have known. Wait, Abby went after Joe, and she's gonna run right into Boyle. <laughs> we can't let Boyle get away with this. I've got an idea. <laughs> we'll just braid my hair and use it as a rope. <laughs> Come on. Do you want to save Christmas or not? Nobody said being a Gorsologist would be easy. <laughs> Ty! Boyle's behind this! I know. Christmas is ruined. This is the worst Christmas ever. All the food is ruined. <laughs> hmm. Don't give up yet, Joe. Who would have thought you could make Christmas dinner with school cafeteria food? Mmm, mmm, nothing says Christmas like nacho cheese pie. You said it. How about a nice plump bologna turkey? Oh, <laughs> and now, Ty, in the Archer family tradition, you may carve the bologna, uh, uh, the turkey. Thanks, Dad, but I think Abby should do the honors this year for saving Christmas. To Abby! To Abby! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> you know, Joe really does have the Christmas spirit. He sure does. You think a little rubbed off on you? Well, maybe a little. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Santa, is that your sleigh? Huh? Oh, no! It's Boyle! Santa's getting angry. Finally, Christmas will be no more. Fruitcakes away! What? Time to wrap Boyle up and send him back to the North Pole. How dare you foil my evil plans yet again? Come down here, Santa, and fight me like a man! Where'd he go? There! <laughs> hey! Hey! Well, if it isn't Chris Stinkle... <laughs> you tried to ruin my favorite day! Christmas doesn't have a chance while I'm around! Deal with it! Can't move controls. Mine too high. Hey, what's happening to his head? The reduced air pressure is making his head expand. <laughs> Looks like your boil's about to pop. <laughs> no! My beautiful boil! Wait a minute. <laughs> you fools! If my boil pops, my parasitic bus will rain down on your feast and ruin Christmas after all! <laughs> Finally, the world will pay for Mummy not giving me what I wanted! 
Here's to you, Ma! Here's to you! <gasps> it's snowing. Now it really is the perfect Christmas. If only Abby was here. Abby! What? My beautiful pus? Frozen? It's neutralized! Useless! No! Abby, you saved Christmas. Again. <laughs> Not bad for a Christmas grump. Are you kidding? That's the old me. The new Abby loves Christmas, and it's all thanks to Santa. Sloppy Joe, for extreme bravery in the face of extreme grossness, I present this Grossology Medal of Honor. You like me. You really like me. Come on, yeah. Santa. You've got a lot of little kids to make happy. <laughs> well, that's our story. It just goes to show. You never know when the Christmas spirit will hit you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> There's a lot more where that came from, Detective! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Why, oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>